My name is Megan Mitchell. When I'm not food styling, shopping, and prepping for various cooking shows, I love cooking for friends and creating new recipes. This is Secrets of a Food Stylist. I'm Megan Mitchell, and today I am making red chili pepper jam, which I will actually put on some roasted corn. It is delicious and so easy to make. I have my pound of jalapenos that have been desemmed, deseeded, and the membrane taken out. Inside is the membrane and the seeds and everything that makes the chili really, really hot and spicy and very lethal to your face if you touch it and then touch your face, which I was doing earlier. It'll just make your jam incredibly spicy and we just want it to be sweet and mild and just a hint of spice. You want to cut it into matchsticks, which is actually just julienne, which is a fancy word that I learned in culinary school. And it's just kind of thin, but not too thin strips, which then I will take and mince up. When I went to Chicago with my mom and my brother, we went to this great restaurant and they came out with this chili, roasted chili corn queso fresco cilantro dish. This is my take on it. And you roast the corn and then you slather it in this jam and then you crumble the queso fresco. It's roasted, it's crunchy, it's salty, it's everything. Everything I like in a dish. So now that I've finished chopping, I'm going to start putting everything in this pot, which is just sugar and apple cider vinegar. Super simple, one cup granulated white sugar, and then three-fourths cup of apple cider vinegar. So while this simmers, I'm gonna prep my garlic. It's three cloves of garlic. I'm gonna microplane grate it into my pan instead of mince it. And I know I'm probably gonna get shunned for this, but I think it's easier, and it sort of breaks it down more than I ever will with my knife. It takes a bit to peel the garlic off. I look like a crazy person peeling this. But you can't just crush it open because then you don't have a whole clove to grate. I'm gonna grate it directly into the pot. And be very careful because I have been a little overzealous and I grate and I grate and I grate my fingernail. It hurts and it really messes up your manicure, which is all I really care about right now. Oh my gosh, it smells good already. My sugar is fully dissolved in my apple cider vinegar and the garlic has almost broken down. You can barely see, you can smell it but you can't really see it. So now it's time to add all of my peppers. You wanna be careful, you don't really want this to splash up at you because it is sugar and vinegar. About a teaspoon of the seeds. I'm gonna let it cook on simmer, not too hot, you don't want it boiling, for 10 to 12 minutes until it's thick and syrupy and reduced by about a third. It'll be delicious on our roasted corn. It's thick and it's jammy and it smells amazing and it burns my eyes a little bit. I'm just gonna try this. It's spicy and sweet, and you can taste the peppers and you can taste the apple cider vinegar. It's gonna go great on my corn. Once it cools, it'll just thicken right up, and the little pepper flakes just kind of float in it. And this will stay in the fridge for up to two months. You can put it on chicken, put it on cheese, whatever you want. It's a great condiment to always have on standby. Look how pretty it looks. So I have three cobs of corn. I just wanna clean them up, and then I will cut them in half. You kind of need some elbow grease when you do this. <laughs> what? Nailed it. <sighs> I know this looks really good. All right, I'm gonna just put it in this pan. I'm not gonna oil them. I'm not gonna put salt and pepper on them. Sometimes it has a tendency to burn and then you don't get these beautiful grill marks. I preheated a cast iron grill pan and it has the little raised ridges. You can do this on an outdoor grill if you have that. I'm going to cut my cilantro for my dressing that will go on the corn. Cut about a quarter cup, and then I'm gonna build the dressing directly in the bowl so when this is ready, I can just pop it right in. It's super simple, okay, so fresco, which I really like. It's like feta, but not as salty, which I think goes really well with this, and then I can control the salt. That's about half a cup if you like it super cheesy. And then the cilantro, make it rain with cilantro. I'm gonna add my chili jam that's cooled slightly. I'm gonna add about a half a cup of this. Look how pretty that looks. It's kind of like Christmas in here. Or the Italian flag. Or Christmas. <laughs> a little salt and pepper. Once these are charred, put them right in. And the hot corn will sort of start melting that cheese and it'll be creamy. I'm gonna get it all coated. Oh my gosh, these colors are so beautiful. You just really want to coat the cob. Let's plate this baby up. 
Now, I love plating on white. I just think it makes it pop. When you're serving a crowd and you're serving friends, they want to look and then immediately want to eat it before they even smell it or taste it. You eat with your eyes first. I mean, look at how festive that looks. Festive for what? Friday night? I don't know. It looks festive for my life. Super psyched about that. All right, even though I just made this look so pretty, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> oh my gosh, so delicious. The chili is spicy but sweet, and the cilantro adds a little vibrant freshness, and the cheese is creamy and just coats the entire cob. Favorite line, I love to coat the cob. And it's just so good, and the charred corn. I really hope you make this, and I hope you enjoy making it as much as I did. For any of these recipes, please subscribe to Hungry, check them out, enjoy them, going in.